I'm ready, I'm ready. Oops, that was maybe a mistake. What was maybe a mistake? very hard to tell what the movie's about in one sentence, because I think it's about many things. It's not just a movie about a serial killer. It's a movie about a compulsive behavior, about art, a failed artist. But it's also like a black comedy in a way, with a lot of absurdity in it, you know? We met and discussed the film beforehand. I liked him very much. I liked him because I trusted him. I trusted him as a filmmaker, because he's a master. And yet, this is a very difficult film to, to commit that trust to. It was a great experience making the film. We never rehearsed for all the right reasons. He wants us to be free, and he knows he'll never have the opportunity to get that first take again. And what that does to us, to me as an actor, is it makes me stay more grounded and in the moment. To stay in the moment, it's very important, you know? The first time, I never found myself thinking about oh, what I planned on doing or trying to remember my lines or trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. And just to do it. And there always was this kind of potential that, hey, we could fail in doing this and we'll do it again. And he won't walk away unless he has what he wants from the scene. One time I had a very difficult scene with Riley Kehoe. It was one of the scenes that I was like, I don't know if I can do this movie. And I said, Lars, I know we don't rehearse, but I think we should rehearse this scene. And he said, okay, let's do one like that after we do one without a rehearsal. Another time we did the first take and he came down and he looked at one actor who was playing the policeman and he says, very good, Riley, and said, needs to be bigger, and he looked at me and he said, you're fired. <laughs> because we always would joke about this sort of thing. A lot less people walked out than they said walked out, because it was very full house when I was there. I'll be honest with you, everyone said, oh, all these people walked out of the cinema, I can't. But I don't think you can judge the film unless you watch the entire film. Yeah, okay, there are some things where maybe you want to look away, you know? I've experienced that in other Lars von Trier. I think he wants that. I didn't want to see the film when, when it was finished, and Lars was like, you have to watch the film with me. And then I sat through the film with him, and he looked at me, and he said, what do you think? And I told him that I really, I, I love the movie. And he looked at me, he said, you love the movie? I said, oh no. I made a mistake, because now he's going to change it, because that's how he is. Oh, there's so many directors I dreamed to work with, you know, the Coen brothers, Martin Scorsese, Wes Anderson, Michelle Gondry who's here, you know. I think the greatest thing an actor can have is the opportunity to work with filmmakers who have a vision and are passionate in, about what they're doing. There has to be more reasons to do the film than to not do the film. But you very rarely get everything. You know, the script is great, the character's great, the director's great, the money's paying you what you feel like you should get paid, and the location's great. Very rarely does it happen that way. Ideally, a great filmmaker and a great character. You know, that's important for me. You're not allowed to leave, no, you know? You're not allowed to leave the cinema, no. What I say is that you have to see the film to the end and realize it's a work of art. No animals or human beings were harmed during the making of this film, and it's okay to laugh when it's funny. So disturbing.